السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of Marqa Sahaba the voice of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'a we present to you lesson number 2959 of our daily nasiha and advice today with the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah Azza wa Jalla we focus on the 14th of Jumad al-Akhira so ye an abi dharrin al-ghifari radiyallahu ta'ala an so he states qala qultu ya rasulullah ayyu masjid wudiya awwal which masjid was built the first in the world qal mal masjid al-haram so nabi adam alayhi salam nabi ibrahim alayhi salam does not mention in the hadith but is mentioned in the commentary qala qultu jana a thumma ayyu qala thumma al masjid al aqsa so then nabi adam alayhi salam nabi sulaiman alayhi salam qultu kam bainahuma what was the duration between the two qala arba'una aman 40 years thumma al ardu laka musalla then the land and sand wherever you are you make it your musalla you read wherever is park clean and pure فَسْوَلِّ حَيْثُ مَا أَدْرَكَتْكَ الصَّلَاةِ And you can read anywhere. So this is the distinction of Islam. Remember that. And the miracle of Mustafa, Habibuna, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Obviously, the best of the best is the men read in the masajid with jama'ah and the women read at home and on the appropriate time, not the delay and so forth and so on. Speaking of home salat, is a diwa reporter, yes, yeah, Sahabi, Itban bin Malik as Salimi. So he couldn't see properly in the ending of his life, and he was a Sahabi who participated in the Battle of Badr. He said, Ya Rasulullah, please come to my house, and then you can see where I can read salat and all that. Nabi alayhi salam said, Fine, I'll come. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went in the morning with Abu Bakr and after, you know, like 8, 9, 10 o'clock around that time there, was ta'adana, they sought permission, fa'adhin to lahu. So he, Itban bin Malik, says, I gave permission. Walam yajlis, the master alayhi wa sallam didn't sit hatta qal. So he asked me, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked me, Aina tuhibbu an uswalliya laka min baytik. That way you want a masjid salat for you in your house. Then that place will become your musalla. So every house should have a prayer room, a musalla. It won't be in the ruling of a masjid. But remember the woman in menses, all that can enter there. But at least the woman know this is a designated place. The men know for their sunnahs and so forth. For example, fajr time you read there and then you go to the masjid. So فَأَرْشَرْتُ لَهُ إِلَى الْمَكَانِ الَّذِي So I pointed and gestured to the master to that place أُحِبُّ أَنْ وَصَلِّيَ فِي وَيْهِ I want to read Salat فَقَامَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ وَسَلَّمْ The master alayhi salatu salam stood there وَصَفَفْنَا خَلْفَهُ And we made the surf behind him Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu an And then him Sayyidina Itban bin Malik And whoever else was there فَصَلَّى بِنَا رَكَتَيْنِ And then read two rakat salat. So it shows that you can read two rakat nafil salat in jama'ah, two, three people, but not that you make big, big announcement and thus and tada'i and all that. So that is not permissible. But if you just want two people behind you and so forth, so then gunjai is here. There is scope for that and it will be acceptable. And the main lesson we learned that in our homes we should have a place. Therefore Imam Ibn Maj got here babul masajid fi dur so you have a prayer room in your houses Allah give us understanding and that the heart people big 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 mansions but you don't see no prayer room so that's an indictment remember that we should have proper facilities huzu facilities and that if Allah give us tawfiq ameen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah